I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Today we're going to make some stuffed peppers. We're going to make them a little bit differently than I did uh, January of 2012. I did a very long stuffed pepper video. It was from the very beginning to the very end and it was very entailed. But today we're going to make a really fast stuffed pepper for the middle of the week when you want stuffed peppers but you don't have the time to make them like bake in the oven for two hours and then sit down to eat a meal. Today we're going to make them fast and easy. Let's see how we do that. What I have here, we're going to start out, we're making stuffed peppers obviously. So what I did was I cut the um, I cut the stems out first and then I cut them in half this way so that we have like a little cup. And then I scraped out the membrane for the most part with a spoon. Obviously, I didn't get that one, but it's all good. Um, so there's, uh, I, I did uh, three bell peppers just like that. And I put them in this bowl with a little bit of water in the bottom, and I stuck them in the microwave for three minutes. I covered it with plastic wrap, and then I just let them sit and steam. So these are nice and soft, and they're par-cooked bell peppers. This way you don't have to wait for them to cook all the way in the oven because you've done half the work outside the oven. This really makes for super fast cooking. Now, in my traditional stuffed pepper, I stuff a raw bell pepper with raw meat and rice mixture. Today we're going to speed that up and take less than half the time to cook it. I have two pounds of ground beef browning on the stove. To that we're going to add a half of a large onion or about a cup of finely chopped onion, about four cloves of garlic. We're going to add a 14 ounce can of diced petite tomatoes. We're going to also be using a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. I also have some tomato juice. I may use a cup or two, just depends. I have a bag of my frozen rice. So here I have about four cups of frozen rice that's pre-cooked ready to go. We're going to season this up with salt, pepper, marjoram, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now we're going to go over to the stove and we're going to bring the filling together. Okay, we're going to start by just seasoning off this meat. I just added some pepper. I'm going to add some salt. You season to taste the way you like it. I put about a half a teaspoon of salt in there. I'm going to put some marjoram. You can use oregano, Italian seasoning. You can use nothing. You can use basil. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. What do you like? I know that we have fresh garlic in there, but I'm also going to add garlic powder, and I do that a lot because I like the different levels of flavor. The dehydrated garlic has a completely different taste than the fresh. I'm also going to add some onion powder for the same reasons. And give this a stir. My meat is nice and brown. Now this is 90% lean, organic, grass-fed ground beef. You use what you can afford or what you have available to you and just go ahead and brown this up. Get your seasonings mixed in there. You always want to make sure that your dry spices and herbs have a little bit of a chance to saute in either the fat from your meat or some oil to bring out their flavors a little bit better. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this rice. This is also, the way we're doing it today is also one of the reasons why it's going to cook so quickly. And that's because we've already cooked the rice, so we don't have to wait for that to cook. We've already cooked the peppers and the meat, so everything is ready to go. Once we put this together, pop it in a casserole dish, all we're going to have to do is really heat it through all the way and get it nice and bubbly. And I probably have enough uh, filling here for more um, than I have peppers. And that's okay. If you have more, you can just go ahead and save it for another dish. Or you can freeze it and use it again later. Maybe next month you'll put stuffed peppers on your menu. Okay, I'm going to take some of this sauce, and I don't want to use all of it. I want to reserve a good portion of it. So I used about a third of that can, okay, because I want to put the rest on top. And I forgot. I want to add my garlic and my onion in here. 
And don't worry if it didn't get sauteed in with everything else because we're going to bake this off and it's going to be fine. Just get this all mixed in really well. And if your rice is still slightly frozen, go ahead and pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds or 45 seconds just to get that, that initial chill off of there. Because like I said, we're baking this off anyway, and the meat is hot, so it, it should really come together pretty quickly. Now, at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato juice because I want it to be juicier than it is. And I probably added about a cup. I didn't measure. If you want to measure, and don't worry, I will have a recipe available on my website that you can just go and print out or save on your computer for later. You know, if you guys have tablets or something and you're collecting my recipes, you can just save those and refer to them whenever you need to. I don't have a tablet. I have a laptop and a desktop, and I usually use the desktop for all of my regular work when I do my recipes, my cookbooks, and my videos and stuff. I don't have a tablet, so I haven't gotten into the habit of using one of those, but I understand a lot of people really, really enjoy them. This is almost there consistency-wise. I want it to be a little on the saucier side, and I think that is just about going to do it. If you like a little more tomato chunk in there, go ahead and add an extra can of tomatoes instead of two cups of the tomato juice. I just find that the tomato juice, we put the crushed tomatoes in there, and for me, that's going to just be the perfect consistency. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this a taste because we always want to taste for seasoning. Mm. I think that's perfect. Mm -hmm. You like it? Okay. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take more of this tomato sauce, tomato juice, pardon me, I'm going to put it in the bottom of this casserole dish. I'm going to take our peppers. I'm just going to go ahead and build everything right here. This is definitely something you can get done fairly quickly in an afternoon. Let me see. Where is my other spoon? Okay, I'm already starting to go ahead and stuff these pepper shells. And Rick just broke, you know, he, he paused the camera. And the reason he paused the camera is because he was waging his opinion on what he thought I should call these this recipe. And Molly chimed in and said, yeah, I like that too. So guess what? We're calling this... What are we calling it, honey? They're half-time stuffed peppers. Half-time stuffed peppers. And why are we calling them that? Because they take half the time to make. And you can literally make them during halftime of a football game. You actually could. And I like to be generous with my stuffed pepper filling. And you can see here, there's quite a bit left. I could probably easily fill another six peppers and what I may go ahead and do is I'll refrigerate this stuffing I'll go back to the store where the peppers were on sale they were on sale for a dollar a piece and I will stuff those peppers and I will put them in the freezer that way I will have a stuffed pepper casserole all ready to go mm -hmm. all right so what we're gonna do we will take our clean spoon and I'm going to just ladle some of this sauce right over the top so that it doesn't dry out I'm going to cover this with parchment and foil. You do what you like. And then I'm going to bake these in a 350 degree oven for about half an hour until they're heated all the way through, which shouldn't take long. I think a half an hour is probably going to be just the right amount of time. 
And this is a really inexpensive dish, especially if you're growing your own peppers. Um, I didn't grow a lot of peppers this year. And these were on sale today, and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to have stuffed peppers for dinner. So, I think the only thing I'm going to probably do is put some of this filling down here. Because no matter what I do when I make stuffed peppers, people always want more of the filling. Mm -hmm. So, I'll do that. All right, I'm going to get this ready. I'm going to pop it in the oven. And uh, when you get ready to that, blah, 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 blah. when we get ready to do that, I'll be back and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, we've got what I have in here. I have a piece of parchment paper that's folded in half. I have my foil, and that's just a personal preference. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna pop this in there, just like that. We're gonna bake this off for between 30 and 45 minutes until it's complete, shouldn't take 45 minutes. I'm thinking it's gonna take between 20 and 30 minutes. And then I'll let you know how much time it takes when we get back. So when this is ready to come out, we'll bring you back and we'll fix your plate of halftime stuffed peppers. These are ready to come out of the oven. They've been in here for about 35 minutes, only because I was doing some things and didn't get to okay. toothpicks. Okay, let's take this off here. And take off this parchment bubbly. paper. It is bubbly. There we go. They look fantastic. They're really juicy. And they're nice and moist and they're ready to be served. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I'm figuring one half for serving, so we have enough for one meal for the family of four, plus two peppers left over that Rick and I will probably have for lunch, or I'll have it as part of a leftover meal later in the week because I have some chicken alfredo and some chicken soup in the fridge. So this will probably become part of a chicken leftover meal, or a leftover meal in general. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to fix you a plate and we'll be right back and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, there you have it. Halftime stuffed peppers. These went together really fast and they didn't take a long time to cook. Definitely something you can put together. If you are on a, like a split shift situation, these are easy enough to, you're gonna plan ahead. You can put these together on a Sunday afternoon. You can pop them in the fridge and then you can put them in the oven um, Monday night when you get home and they're all ready to go. All you had to do is wait for them to cook and in that time you can go switch out some laundry or spend a little time with your husband or whatever it is that you need to catch up on. I won't say pay bills because who really wants to do that, but we all got to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So that is how I'm going to make what Rick has dubbed halftime stuffed peppers. These cooked in half the time. It took half the time to prepare them as my original stuffed pepper recipe. And who couldn't like that? We're saving a little bit of time. We're spending a little more time doing something that we really love instead of being hooked in the kitchen after a long busy day at work. So I hope you try these. I hope you love them. I'll have the recipe up on my website. All you have to do is click the link below and it'll take you right to the front page. And I hope you try it. And until next time, I'll see ya.